welcome back to our stupid reactions, the idiots. I'm Corbin. As with me as always is Rick Siegel. Oh my god. And today, you will follow us on Instagram, for more. And uh, today we will be reacting. Nope. Reviewing. This is actually a review, isn't it? <laughs> Would you yeah, stop it? we're not reacting. No. We're reviewing. Um, we are reviewing. And I, yeah, you're gonna have to pronounce it. And I think I'm wrong too. And but we'll give it a shot. And I think it's hand, hand. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like someone having a stroke. Yeah, they didn't say it in the and movie. Hand, hand, hand. So we're assuming it's, it's, it's a Hindi word or it, it's something like that. And and Maybe it means. Blind or something like that. Sure. The uh, movie is just called Blind. Blind. Hey, we have movies called Drive here, so that's calm true. Down. But we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> They're not as stupid as we are. Um. So yeah, we watched it, and, and we have opinions. We do. And we're gonna start with the non-spoiling location, but I think everyone on Earth. No, we're just gonna do a spoiler review. So okay. You're right warned. here. You're You've warned. seen this already. You've seen it. Spoiler alert. It, it, yeah, they've all seen it. You did. It didn't just come out. So sorry. And, and those of you who haven't seen it, stop watching. Go watch it, and then come back because the spoilers are coming right now. Start us off. All right. You want to hear what I think good about it, or what yeah. I think bad about it, or what? Yeah, just go ahead. All right. I think the story was fantastic. Uh huh. I love the premise. I love the story. I especially loved all the twists and turns that I did not see coming. Love them. I it, from the moment. I mean, just the way they revealed when he walks into the apartment and he's going to the piano and they just do a slow pan and there's a guy on the ground. Yeah. You're like, what the heck? There was a lot of cool little quick cuts when they were trying to figure out if he was blind or like when they should just have the scream mask. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, and he kept his composure and I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Really, that would, really that good. That would freak me out. It totally freak me out. <laughs> Yeah, how he kept his composure when he goes into the bathroom. Yeah. And he's in the bathroom and you see him still pretending to be blind. You're like, what the heck are you doing? And then they do the slow pan and the guy's standing in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Great premise. So many twists and turns. Yeah. Can't trust anybody. Um, a very uh, Inception type ending. Yeah. With a very quick pace too. I yeah. thought the pacing on this, it just, it, 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 did. it didn't did. drag. Yeah, it started off. Yep. And you were kind of in it. Um, and I was wondering, I was like, so why, why is he faking it? Because obviously you right. found out pretty soon right. that he was faking it. Right. And then you uh, found out and you're like... I, I would have liked that to have been... I would have liked to have known that a little bit later. A little bit later. Just a little bit that later. It wasn't just like a... Mm -hmm. Or maybe not at all. And that's just the nitpicky thing. Yeah. Now I have, I have two things that I'm just flat out pissed off about. Go ahead, I want to know. Okay. <clears throat> I'm about to go on a rant. When you're directing a film that requires somebody to be playing a musical instrument, you need to either have that actor know how to play the frickin' instrument, get somebody who does to double their hands, or don't show their hands. Because the number of times you showed that actor's hands playing the piano and he clearly not only doesn't play but can't even match the sounds is insulting to the audience. That was lazy from not only the director, the whole production team, to allow that guy to pretend he played the piano and not even finger movements match the notes I'm hearing multiple frickin' times. That's lazy. <laughs> Took what, what is a great movie and had these moments of complete artistic laziness in it. Oh boy. If you didn't notice that... I'm not a musician. So. Doesn't matter. You didn't notice that his hands didn't match the notes? No, I was watching their faces. There were times they just showed his hands, like in La La Land. At least Ryan Gosling had the... Ryan Gosling? Yes, that's his name. At least he had... I was getting confused with Deadpool. He had the artistic frickin' guts and credibility to play the notes. Maybe he had more funds and time. Not an excuse for artistic laziness. It is. It, it is you, not. You can choose as the director, regardless of time, regardless if you of money. Asked a week before, okay. you're not going to have time to learn the piano. Ultimately, let's take it away from the actor because it's the director's medium. He has the full creative control over the film, not the actor. Cool. Okay. And the editor too. The editor didn't see this and look at the director and go, "Uh, this is awful." Okay. Yeah. The uh, tiny little thing. That not a tiny little thing. That does not ruin okay. the movie, you idiot. It does because what is the point 
what is the point of telling a story in film when you have to do suspension of disbelief? You have to make me believe what I'm seeing is really taking place. Oh my God. And then you show me a guy who clearly can't play piano. I'm supposed to believe it. It's insulting to an intelligent audience. You know what else is insulting? To watch a sequence where he's running when he's been blinded. Remember, he's actually been blinded. Mm -hmm. What happened to the color of his eyes when he woke up blinded? They got cloudy like his contact lenses, right? Mm -hmm. As he's running away from her and he's in the street, they do a cut to him and his eyes are back to the normal non-cloudiness for a frame. And then they go back and they're cloudy again. Yeah, that could have been lighting. That's, it doesn't matter. It could have been lighting. It could have been lighting. The director and the editor should have noticed it and not included it. Oh my God. Lazy. Oh my God. I've ranted. I was wondering what your stupid issues with it was because I was wow. trying to see. And no, comment on that, friends. And if you agree with him, you're stupid. Really? Because all of them told us to watch this. The movie's great. It's a great movie. Yeah. The story's great. And you're ripping it for a stupid reason. I am, I am ripping the artistic you are laziness. It's an idiotic reason to rip a movie. And I'm idiot. not See, every this movie, happens all the time. Every he movie, thinks I'm ripping the whole movie. Every movie and, has issues. The Dark Knight had editing issues. Of course it, it did. Yeah, doesn't mean you ripped the movie. I'm for not it. ripping the whole movie. You just said it ruined the film. I said it doesn't ruin the film. He said, yes, it does. It it ruins pictures of this boy. <laughs> I'm a freaking moron. It ruins you that. You have to play <laughs> piano, do you? Will yes. I can't know okay. what you're doing. If you play a piano, oh my god. <laughs> If you play a piano in a film, and it's not your responsibility, it's the director's responsibility to not show your hands if you don't know how to play, because it's insulting to those of us who do. I play the piano, and I know he doesn't. Entitled piano players over here, apparently. No, it's about artistic <sighs> credibility and honesty and truth. You're wondering why I called this channel our stupid reactions? <sighs> it's because of this. I liked the movie a lot. I would recommend the movie. I would watch the movie again, but those two things really got me mad because they're just, there's no excuse for it. It's, it's, it's not even film school bad mistake. Oh my God, it's really not that noticeable. Outside of people who care want, about film. No, <laughs> that think they're better piano players than other people. No, this is the, oh wow. <laughs> this is an arrogance thing. Did you thing. hear that? Oh! This is wow. an arrogance thing. This is not an act. It's the so now this has become. It's the exact same reason musical theater people <laughs> always, <laughs> no, no, always no. hate okay. musicals. All right. This they is, always this hate is movie musicals. war. Because <sighs> you, they think that they are better than what was put on screen. What I hate musicals. I'm a musical theater guy, and I hate musicals. You have issues with musicals. That for suck. Yeah. Which ones don't suck in your opinion? A lot of musicals don't. So. <laughs> yes, but I'm saying the way you critique them. Yeah. And, that, and rip them for stuff that is really not that important. Like when the actor who's playing the lead can't sing. There's a lot of movies where the actor can't sing. Yeah, and that's terrible. It's called acting and dubbing over. That's awful. Get an actor who can sing if you're doing a musical. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. And then you can say, get a disabled person to play a disabled person. Get a it's, that is it's, a completely it's called acting. different thing. Acting it's doesn't called play, acting, you right. freaking moron. I don't fault the actor for not knowing how to play the piano. I'm disappointed that he didn't try and learn, and I don't know if he didn't Maybe have the he time. Did. Maybe he did. He didn't know how to play the piano. <laughs> See, this is the entitled part that I'm talking about. It, he it, might have known how to play, just not as well as you. Sorry. <laughs> no. He has other stuff okay. to do. If you watched a movie with people playing soccer, would you be able to depict whether or not and recognize if they know how to play soccer? Yeah, sure. So? Okay, so if they were playing and I told you that guy knows how to play soccer and you said, I no, he doesn't. I notice things like that in films all the time. It doesn't bother me because I know that that's not the focus of it. it as long as they're delivering the performance, I'm okay with it. And he delivered the performance. <laughs> Except for the piano playing part. Oh my part. god. Okay, let's let's go even deeper. What's the point of acting? Oh my god. To be believable. That's one of the major points of acting. To convey a character, yes. And be believable. Yeah, he was believable. As a piano player? Yes. I'm sure all these people don't believe that he was a piano player. Oh wait, they all recommended we watch this film because they loved it. You're the moron who's... <laughs> Ripping this film for I'm idiotic not, reasons. I'm not ripping the You're whole film. You're an idiot. Film. <laughs>
There was nothing wrong with his piano playing. He played it just fine. He did not. There was nothing wrong with the film. It did not take you out of the film at all. You were Wait, taking. Do, do you know how to play? The do piano? you realize what you're doing right now? <laughs> you're taking away this entire film that had great plot points and great twists and turns that you did not see coming, and it, it was so enjoyable. And you're like, oh, it's piano playing. Ah, da, da, the worst. The film is shit. I did not. That's what you're saying. The, I am not saying that. You realize how big of a deal you're making about a guy you think that he didn't play the piano as I well know. as you wanted him to play it? At, to That's be a, a stupid reason. He's portraying a piano player. It's a stupid reason. You're ripping it for 15 minutes now. Be I'm off of the a guy that went like this instead of like this while he was playing the piano. I, you realize how <laughs> stupid that is? I'm explaining. Review is done. The film was great. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. We're back. Hi. <laughs> uh, so... In uh, Rick's ten minutes of idiotic rant, my rant, uh, my we, awesome rant, we forgot to talk about like the most important, coolest part of the movie, which was the, the ending. ending. Um, <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of theories about actually what happened. Are there in the end? Uh, like I kind of like Inception. Like was he um, blind or did was he never actually blind or did he? Did he right. get the transfer of the eyes? Did he not get the transfer of the right. eyes? Because obviously at the end, it was kind of an Inception thing when it started to topple right. from the Inception, but he flicked the can away. Right, and he obviously could see. Yeah. Was and he ever blind? Did he actually get the eyes? Did he get her eyes? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. <sighs> I, at the end, um, I kind of... I mean, I, I almost saw it coming. Really? Um, him, I, him, him seeing at the end? Yeah. Okay. Um, because obviously there's so many twists and turns. I was like, there's got to be one more. There. Right. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, I'm betting he's so, I, but I, she's clearly, I mean, she has the car wreck and the car blows up because the rabbit jumps off into the road, which I thought that was a really cool tie in, but to have the rabbit at the very beginning of the movie become the rabbit that like flies in her windshield. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that part actually. I, but really? I, I don't know if it's true though. Obviously, he that could have just been a story he was telling. Oh right. So right. Uh, the whole. So thing. if it's not true, then I like that more. Um, like he was just telling this fable, and right. he's actually now the just this black market person. Right. Kind of kind of a thing. Does he do, does he go town to town and do this to people? I don't know. It can't. There's too many other people involved. Too many other people. Yeah. He yeah. clearly got pulled into the situation and didn't know what was going on. Yeah. He just was, he was this guy, the musician, I believe what he said when he said he was just the musician who was trying to be artistic in his understanding of what he was doing with artistry and stumbled into this murder. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that. Mm -hmm. But did he get her eyes at the end? I want to think he got Maybe her eyes. Maybe they were in cahoots. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! And, I actually thought that at one point. And like, uh, they faked the... The, the crash and so they split the money he got some eyes from somebody because they got a bunch of money in the right in, in that bag I believe that and see and the, the they to or get the eyes went back and got the the police officer's eyes well the blood type needed to match yeah that's true I don't know who matches his blood type yeah um, but I actually thought that when they were in the room together at some point I thought this is gonna take another turn and these two are actually in cahoots they've yeah. known each other this is their scam that they do I don't know. Yeah, that's fun. It's, a, it's definitely a, a fun film to sit around and theorize. Let us know what your theories are down below. But obviously, I didn't like it because of the piano playing. That's true. You heard a whole 10 minute rant about that. Which means I didn't like the whole movie, though. Yeah, that's, you said it ruined the film. I can go and show you. I edited it. <laughs> that does not ruin okay. the movie, you idiot. It does.